So let's begin the practice by taking a comfortable position, five-point posture if you're familiar with it. And give yourself some time to settle into that posture. And particularly bring your focus to the stillness of your body. And let it settle. Let it collect. Feeling the stillness, aware of the stillness of your body. Become aware of the silence. Just bring your attention to the silence of the inner speech. And draw your attention towards the spaciousness of your mind. And for those who are familiar, become aware of the three channels of light within the body, the central blue channel and the two side channels, red and white on either side. And as you bring your mind, your focus to your breath, ride that breath like a horse through the pathway of the channels as we perform the nine breathings of purification.
as you connect with a sense of opening within the channels of your body, rest in that sense of openness and feel the sky before you is boundless, open and clear. And in that sky, radiant, uh, radiantly appearing, the form of Shenla Okar and the lineage masters and teachers, the refuge tree, but particularly the form of Shenla Okar, a deity of white light, radiating compassion, and all the qualities that liberate uh, and alleviate the suffering of the realms of samsara, adorned with the ornaments that represent that uh, liberation and transformation. Feel the light rays go out to all beings in all dimensions, and particularly as you receive this light, feel the support to continue to open and to trust and turn towards this space of openness in your practice. So we'll sing together the Guru Yoga in Tibetan, and then I'll leave time and we can say it in our own uh, language as well. Precious one, grant me the blessings to recognize my own true nature as a Buddha. So feeling the support, the blessings of the warmth of your connection to your teachers, wisdom and compassion through the presence of Shenla Okar and the light radiating from Shenla Okar, and the presence of all the cyber Sangha gathered together, resting in that support, let's take some time and reflect upon the accumulation of this year of the relationships that we are experiencing with others. Some of them may be quite challenging. Just feel how they live in you. Not only those relationships that are difficult, uh, but also there are many in our lives um, who have been stricken or touched with illness or may have recently died, and that may also be living in us. And, and so we want to acknowledge and open our practice to all these uh, relationships that we 
experience that now is the time to really feel how they live in us and to be open to that by connecting with this space, this sacred space. So take a moment and allow for that to come into your practice. Now we'll sing the seed syllable home three times. And as we sing, imagine that from the heart of Shanla Okar, this enlightened being of great compassion, light rays go out in all directions and they touch the beings that we know and that we have connection with who may be suffering or ill, or particularly the relationships that we have that are difficult. And these lights touch the places, the conditions in which we find these circumstances and the situations. And as the lights uh, touch, the beings dissolve into light, the places dissolve into light. And this light dissolves into you. So the light of the places, of all the conditions, dissolves into your body, and the light of the beings dissolves into your consciousness. And as a result, the entire space in all directions is clear and open. So we'll allow time for this process. Oh.
There is no sense of solidity to the external world. It all has dissolved into light and that light has dissolved into you. That light has touched all those places that might be fearful, that might hold anger, hold suffering, touch the beings whose consciousness might be turbulent or lost. And all of these structures have dissolved into light and that light has dissolved into you. And as we sound a strong pe together, that is a strong sound that will cut the sense of boundedness that we have as a self, as an ego, as an identity. We'll free that sense of boundedness. And as we cut that sense, there's a natural freedom to expand beyond the sense of limit and boundedness of the me, the fearful me, the angry me. All this pain identity is cut with that sound and we gradually allow ourselves to become familiar with the opening that becomes available. Yeah, you can sense the unbounded space beyond the body, beyond this room. All the sense of boundary of building, of town, city, country, continent. That sense of boundary releasing and the space awakening. You are that space. At the same time, that space can hold you like a loving mother as you rest completely releasing effort
There's a sense of wakefulness, liveliness in this space, liveliness of presence. And in this freedom and liveliness, there's a natural connection that is warm, naturally warm, naturally compassionate, naturally loving. And so we can look with new eyes at those relationships, at those people and circumstances that are have been troubling, concerning us. Look with clear and open eyes and allow for new qualities to emerge. From the openness and awareness from this union, there is a natural compassion that allows us to see the suffering of others clearly, to see their confusion. To see their beauty. to see the inherent purity of their being. This is the wisdom eye that is present when our sense of ego identity has been cut and released. And because we have expanded and continue to expand, there may be others we have forgotten that come to be recognized, to be acknowledged. Come for healing and to receive support. And now we engage the three active elements of fire and wind and water by singing their seed syllables, Ram, Yang, and Mang. 
And as we sing these seed syllables, first with fire, feel that from the infinite uh, richness of the space emerge great firestorms of wisdom, fire light. And this red wisdom of fire light penetrates and permeates all the causes and conditions, the karmic causes and conditions of suffering. They are inherently impermanent and this light penetrates and reveals the inherent purity. So these structures of suffering of the people and the places are burned or purified by this fire light. So we'll sing together Ram. And just know that not only through your own practice, but magnified by the power of all of us gathered, this wisdom, firelight, penetrates the suffering, the causes and conditions of suffering, and destroys them, liberates them. Feel the support to go into those places that are most difficult for you. So that you feel the support to, to recognize that they are inherently not solid as they have appeared in the past. Now we'll sing the seed syllable for wisdom wind yang. And as we sing, feel violent, powerful windstorms, swirling wisdom wind penetrate the places, the people, penetrating the structure of the suffering and confusion, the anger, whatever is um, present. And reveals the inherent 
lack of solidity awakens the sacred space. And finally, we sing the seed syllable for the sacred uh, wisdom water, mong. And as we sing mong, feel great waves of wisdom water wash over, touch, purify all those beings and places, particularly the ones who have touched you personally in this in this year. Don't forget in the largeness of your experience those particular places where you have gotten caught. Allow the wisdom water to touch those places to open and reveal the inherent spaciousness, the inherent purity of the beings and the places. Mama. Allow yourself to see the inherent purity, the openness of all the beings and the places 
free of defilement, free of karmic obscurations, clear, open, radiant, pure. And as we sing ah, the seed syllable ah, together three times, this is the sound of primordial wisdom. It awakens us to the inherent purity, the unbounded spaciousness, and the infinite awareness that is the nature of all beings. It allows us to experience this directly, to feel this radiating. And as we sing, uh, feel that innumerable ahs drop like rain, blessings falling upon the beings and the places, the circumstances. And as the ahs touch the beings, they transform into beings of light, beautifully adorned, their inherent nature manifesting. And as they touch the places, they become radiant places of, of joy, places of goodness. Uh. Feel that these ahs uh, are throughout space pervasively. Nothing, no one, no place is excluded. Everything is touched and transformed by the primordial wisdom ah. Feel this throughout your being, throughout your body, throughout your emotions, throughout your mind. Unbounded, unbounded spaciousness.
infinite awareness, liveliness, presence, and warmth, the warmth of joy, compassion, love. And as we sing this mantra of purification, continue to allow this experience throughout your body, emotions and mind, and continue to feel all those beings and places that previously had held uh, suffering and discomfort have been liberated and are now radiant with the healing, with the transformative qualities Je 
rest, uh, release your effort and rest in the resonance of this great mantra of purification. You are resting in the loving arms of the mother. Completely relax and release any sense of visualization. Let it dissolve completely into the unbounded spaciousness. And as we bring our hands together to our hearts, we dedicate the merit of our practice, praying that by the power and the blessings of this practice, may all sentient beings be liberated from their suffering, particularly those um, to whom we are karmically connected. May they realize the inherent purity of their nature and attain liberation from suffering. So we'll sing together the dedication. Go. Oh. 
Yeah. 